All right, I'm going to attempt to make a blade, like a machete or something similar to that, out of a mower blade. So here I have a charcoal pit. So here's some charcoal. I'm going to add another layer on top of that once that charcoal gets hot. I'm going to use gasoline to start the burn just so it heats up faster. And to heat up the charcoal even more, I'm going to use this leaf blower right here. So I'm going to have this leaf blower set up to blow air into the charcoal chamber. And as you can see, these bricks have holes in them so the air can flow right through there. So it should work quite well. So once I heat up this blade to a point that is glowing red, I'm going to take it over to my makeshift anvil over here, which is a nice thick piece of iron or steel. I think it would be steel. And as you can see, that's about half an inch thick. So that should be a nice plane to hammer that mower blade flat on. And since I don't have a great hammer, I'm going to use this flat piece of steel and this hammer here to hammer it flat. Now as far as safety gear goes, I have this big old trench coat, which I'm going to wear backwards. I cut the collar off so it's easier to wear. And I also have this insulated mitt, which is great for high temperatures. It insulates your hand from the high temperature and keeps my hand nice and cool and allows me to pick up this glowing hot blade and hammer it flat. So we'll see what happens. So here's the mower blade. You can see how crooked it is. I hope you can see how crooked that mower blade is, right? So now I'm going to take this mower blade, put it on my makeshift anvil, and hammer it flat. condition there, but now it's looking pretty flat. Uh, I'm going to throw the other side in real quick. Flatten that side out a little more. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Be careful, Nix. Come on, get inside. Get inside. Come on. That is really, really straight compared to where we were before, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to get that a break and I'm going to buy some more charcoal so I can place this blade. Okay, so here's the mower blade after it has been flattened out using my makeshift forge. And hopefully you can see how flat that is. It's not perfectly flat, but this is the first time I've ever tried using an anvil with heat and a hammer, so it came out pretty well in my opinion. Right here, there's still some curvature on the blade there, but I can turn that into a handle, so it's not a huge deal. I may revisit this and try flattening it out a bit better, but 
so far it came out pretty well so that's the end of part one so uh, part two will consist of cutting out pieces of this so I can make a handle and then cutting out pieces to make a blade so stay tuned for that thanks for watching